Welcome back to Copper Star Precision, the channel dedicated to getting you more points at your competitive shooting matches. We are wrapping up the 2024 July NRL 22 Course of Fire with Stage 5. It is called Fire on the Rooftop. We've got two targets. I'll put the target sizes down here. And really, the big challenge here is going to be the support side on this stage. So let's go over the stage description. On the start signal, build a position on the side of the rooftop and engage the targets near to far with two shots each while keeping at least one foot on the ground. Then repeat this engagement on the other side of the rooftop using your weak side. Then ascend the rooftop and engage the targets near to far with one shot each. So let's talk about what makes for a successful stage here. Obviously support side is gonna be a big challenge for some people, we'll talk about how to deal with that. And it's kinda of interesting, we're on the rooftop, one foot on the ground, and I think people are gonna get a little tripped up because they're gonna be leaning too far over and they're not gonna be square behind the rifle. So let's talk about what that might look like. So I think the way to do rooftops, and again, all depends on the gear you have and your shooting style, but I like a bag up front and I like some sort of rear support. Two points of contact, definitely gonna be more stable. Now we actually have an official rooftop. So thanks to fellow friend and competitor Nelson, gave me a nice piece of plywood and I built this rooftop so it's a little bit more accurate instead of using the folding table like before. So essentially, my dope for this stage is 0.8 for the first target and 1.6 for the second target. Do you dial, do you hold over? I think on the strong side, holding over is appropriate and plus it will save you a little bit of time. You wanna spend more of your time on the support side especially because people struggle with that. So I think holding over for the first four targets and then dialing for the support side because it's really hard to be support side, look through your left eye, your non-dominant eye, while trying to find targets and holding over. So I think you can either dial for the whole stage or you can dial for the support side. That's what I would recommend. But other than that, I think the key here is instead of trying to like lean over the rooftop like this and be in a really awkward position, you have to keep at least one foot on the ground. So if you're a right-handed shooter like I am, I'm gonna put my right leg up here. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna try and get actually as much onto the rooftop as possible so I still can get square behind the rifle. Being square behind the rifle, looking downrange of the target is gonna give you the most stable position and it's gonna influence your natural point of aim towards the targets versus if you're standing on the side of the rooftop leaning over like this, not very stable. When you do the transition to the other side, remember muzzle downrange, don't break the 180 rule. Um, and then we'll transition over here, do support side and then ascend the rooftop and basically do the last two shots. So let's get the trigger cam on here and let's figure out what this might look like in practice. So we're gonna start all the gear in hand. Here I have pump pillow and a pint size game changer. So let's start the timer. Timer goes beep. Get that bag settled there, rifle down. Come into the rifle, put one leg, swing it over. Now find the targets here. So two shots on large. One, two, holding over, in my case 0.8. Two shots small. Transition. Grab everything, keep the rifle pointed down range. This is where people are gonna struggle a little bit, but we're just gonna do the opposite thing that we did on the dominant side. So I'm gonna get the rifle settled. I'm gonna get it pointed in the natural direction. I'm gonna get my leg up and over. I'm gonna come straight down into the rifle like this. Find the target. Same engagement, one shot, two shots. Here I'm gonna dial up. So now I'm holding straight up. Dial back down and then just get onto the rooftop. You can even leave the rifle here. Now as long as we're fully supported by the rooftop, One shot large, holding over. 
one shot small. So let's see. Finish with about 10 seconds to spare. So you are moving a little bit. I recommend holdovers maybe for the first engagement. That way you save a little bit of time not having to dial. I do recommend dialing for the second engagement just so you're holding straight up when it comes to those weak side targets. So with that being said, I think that's sort of the key to success here. If you're having trouble with support side, really not much to say except practice it, right? When it comes to support side, it's nice having a balanced rifle like this. Everything's all set up. It's pointed in the direction of the targets. You know, if, if the rooftop is kind of like this size, you saw that I was actually able to get kind of like both legs off the rooftop and still get pretty square to the target as long as I'm far to one side. So I'm using my left eye. I'm focusing on the target. Then I'm focusing on the top of my scope, the turrets to the eyepiece. So I'm coming straight down and I'm right there. So, and then also, since you're using your left hand here, I can either use your right hand to support, right hand to squeeze, and then because we're on an angled rooftop, there's a lot of space down here that you could also cycle the bolt from underneath the gun, like so. So there's a lot of room under here to manipulate the bolt. So that way, if you are using this hand to grab the bag in the rear, and you, you're rock steady, you don't want to give up this hand to cycle the bolt and become unstable. Think about reaching underneath and cycling this bolt this way. All of that stuff you're going to have to practice and figure out what works for you. But I would say getting square to the target is important. So if you have to put one leg up on the rooftop, do that. But if you're close enough to the side of the rooftop, even on the first side, depending on the height of the rooftop, again, you can get pretty square just leaning into the rooftop like this and getting that position. So maybe consider using the very edge of the rooftop if you don't want to get onto the rooftop. But on the last position, let's say we were over here again, it might help to just leave the rifle where it is so I take my last support side shot, then I send the rooftop, leaving the rifle right where it is. It should be pointed in the general direction of the target. And we're engaging this way. So let me know what you plan on doing. Are you gonna dial, are you gonna hold over? And uh, yeah, hopefully these tips and tricks helped. If they did, let me know down in the comments down below. Hopefully bringing you match footage from this match shortly after Sunday. And uh, until I see you next time, as always, score more points.